Hey YouTube, the purpose of this video is in relation to the COVID-19 event and how it's affecting the band world. This video will show you the very simple steps in creating your own bell covers so that people don't need to scam you into whatever prices they are charging for these bell covers. You can find anybody in your community who might be able to sew a bunch of these together for you so that you can save a little bit of money for your program that we already know you're paying for on your own. This page shows the measurements of my instrument's bells and the measurements of the circles that we cut to make the bell covers on my personal instruments. Now into actually making the bell cover. Here you'll see we have two different colors of fabric. What we had on hand was a uh, skirt slip we took part of it and dyed it gray so that you can see the two tones in color. What she will do is take a bucket that's roughly the size of the trumpet bell cover we want, trace it onto the fabrics, and then uh, cut them out. I will go ahead and add that this is my mother who has graciously volunteered her time into helping um, me come up with these bell covers as well as make these for my school and agreed to have me record her uh, in the process in order for you guys to replicate what is going on. It really is not important to have the exact measurements if you are a little larger than the measurements that we have provided. That is completely okay. As for when you go to sew it together, you can really control the size of the bell cover to whichever way you like. Sewing is what my mother does for a living, so whenever I go to her, I know I'm going to get something that is just as good as something you would get in the store for much more money than what we are paying to have this done. All the materials that we are using were provided to us for free. Here she is pinning the two circles together so that it's easier to sew them together without them slipping apart. And then we'll go over to the sewing machine. Okay, so now she will go ahead and sew in about a half inch from the edge all the way around the circle. She's reinforcing the start of it by going forward, then backwards, and then going all the way around the circle. It'll be hard to see in the video, but she is going to leave a roughly one, one and a half inch opening at the end. This serves dual purposes. The first purpose is to be able to flip this bell cover inside out so that the rough edges are actually on the inside. The second purpose is that opening allows you to then later run the drawstring through. There will be a pocket that is created that you will see as soon as she uh, flips this inside out. There she left a little bit of opening and strengthened it by going forwards, backwards, and then forwards again and stopping. Here she is flipping it inside out. Now she's going to sew around the circle again at roughly half inch to three quarters of an inch in. This creates the pocket for our drawstring. Also helps the bell cover retain shape while it's flattened out. I will say that it doesn't really matter if you get this circle completely even. The one that she is making here there, there's some minor imperfections on it with whether it's an exact circle or not, but it's going to hold together and it's going to serve the purpose, which is protecting 
our students from whatever's coming out of the end of the bells. This stitch, she will take all the way around and close off so that there is no opening to the very center of the bell cover. What you see her doing is pulling the outside seam out, which will actually clear up the opening when she goes and runs the string through. In the next step, she is going to take some string and attach it to a safety pin. That safety pin will help her guide the string through the bell cover as she is bringing it around. Now, there's really no good way of going about doing this. You will see her push the paper clip or safety pin in, bunch it up and then pull it through, bunch it up, pull it through until she works all the way around. Now, this is probably the most tedious part of the process. And you will see that we took longer than five minutes to make this bell cover, but she was going slow for me to get the best quality video I could from my phone. But I assure you, making these bell covers, once you get into the groove of it, really can take you less than five minutes to whip the whole thing together and be done. What she is doing here is she is taking that opening that she left there and going ahead and closing part of it up. The string will still be able to move freely, but this prevents the hole from widening and just creates some more overall structure for the overall design and a little bit of just cleanup work of the threads that are left over. If you sew, you know exactly what this process is like. I've clipped many of threads as I've been making face masks for me and my wife. Installing these bell covers is very simple. Simply lay down the bell cover, put the instrument's bell in the center of the bell cover, and then pull on the two strings together in an upwards motion to draw the sides of the bag around over the bell. Then grab each string individually and pull them to tighten the bell cover more snug around the bell. And then I use, in this example, a simple shoelace tying method, um, but I plan on using a full-blown knot on my school instruments. For my school's bell covers, I have decided to use a drawstring method versus using elastic. The reason for that is I teach middle school. If it can come off the instrument, it will come off the instrument and get lost. So I will be knotting them onto the instruments and then I will remove them at the end of term, wash them, and reinstall them on the instruments myself to avoid them getting lost. So this video was just to uh, pass on the knowledge of what I have been figuring out based on the guidelines of the studies that are coming out on how to best protect our students uh, during this COVID-19 event. I have seen a lot of things come out, a lot of companies uh, coming out with their own bell covers, and even at, in my own school email, I have been receiving emails of companies trying to sell me their product. It really is not hard to make one of these, and it can be done pretty quickly. Right before we made this one for you, we quickly made one for my uh, euphonium so that when I take my instruments to school they are protected. I encourage you if you can to try to get these made for as cheaply as possible. I've done something similar with the flute shields where I have brought the price down significantly. I can tell you that whoever is making these is making these for probably less than a dollar a piece but charging you more. I don't think that is right, and I think during this pandemic we should be focusing on protecting us and protecting our students more than trying to fight and make a profit over uh, an unfortunate situation. This is, I would say, my first official YouTube video, whether or not I continue to make videos on things um, throughout the school year will depend on, on how busy I am, on how I really feel about do, continuing to do it. I. I build things, build drums and other instruments and just in general woodworking, as well as have 
many things I've been wanting to record videos on. So any feedback is good feedback, if you care to share or not. But if you could, share this information with the band director or music coordinator in your area and make sure whatever we're doing is more about protecting our kids than somebody making a profit off of us. I'm sure somebody's grandmother, aunt, mother, someone in the community is able to create these for you and you know they can even customize it. School colors, get a little dye, uh, mat, uh, dye the fabric and then create your own. Uh, whether or not you use elastic is on you. Again, my thought is if it can come off the instrument, it's probably going to come off the instrument. Uh, just with my experience and some of the chaos of being a middle school band director. Um, so if you're unfortunately having to go to school right away at the beginning of the school year, um, here's just one way for you to save a little bit of money and have these things as a safety net. I will say, based off of the study that was put out that, that showed these bell covers, uh, the material we are using is a little thicker. It does create some issues when I initially put them on my instruments and played, but you know, with a little bit of practice, it actually doesn't last very long. And you know, we could put anything over the bells, but you know, some of the age-old things of putting a Crown Royal bag over your your bell doesn't really sit well in a, a school setting. So this is just an option, you know, save a little bit of money. I don't know what all the companies are selling them as, but the one that reached out to me, I, I looked at those prices and it made me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach because somebody is trying to profit over a pandemic and whether or not they're thinking, oh, well, I'm just trying to help with the kids, you know, we, we get them at wholesale prices, sell them at wholesale prices. So make your own, maybe get together with some other band directors and see if you can uh, scrounge up the funds to at least buy the fabric or something or get donations of fabric and get somebody who can sew these together for you because they really don't take that long.